WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. With your 2 p.m. update, currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 282 points, 8 tenths of a percent. S&P 9 tenths or 40 points. NASDAQ 8 tenths, 117 points. 1.5 percent for the Russell, 31. Semis are up 4 tenths or about 12 points. Trending's up 6 tenths, 99 points. New York Stock Exchange is up a little over 1 percent. You've got gold trade out in 1941. 32.70 is how much higher it is trading. When it's Seven tenths percent silver, three and a quarter percent. That's a total of eighty cents. And uh, lights we crude, I'm really up eight uh, eight percent today, up seven forty as we speak right now. Natural gas having a nice day, but trading into resistance, the top of its profile. And the thirty-year treasury is flat. It's trading out at one fifty-one twenty-seven. Let's go spend a little time and take a look at our indice charts out here and kind of get a feel for what they're communicating to you and I. Momentarily, we'll change screens, and in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see the Dow. Now, we take a look at the Dow. The interesting pattern here first. <laughs> You know, it's got that TD9 count and Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. What the Dow is doing is it's now trading above a, uh, we'll call it a junior swing point. That was the, uh, it's labeled uh, number B out here, and that's from March the 3rd. And that high is 34.179, we're 34.328. You trade above that, the signal there is that price wants to make a run for its breakdown level at 35.431. Now, I'll just simply caution you, I can't show you the chart right now because I'd have to change screens and everything. But if you listen to the first segment in the first hour, uh, we're at a point. This is really where we're going to get a, a real good feel tomorrow. This, this really today should be the end of the rally for the Dow. If this is truly a bear market out there, because, uh, well, you just have to go back and look at that. But but if it's not. Uh, and then price should go target the 35,431. The S&P 500 has not taken out that swing point. That swing point out here, that high would be 44,1678. Watch that level. You get above that, then the cash indice would be suggesting 45,26. In the case of the NDX 100, it suggests that it wants to get back to 14,342.56. That's a TD9 count breakdown level. In the case of the Russell 2000, nice day, nice day yesterday, but it's really just a sideways consolidation. It's not up to the top of the consolidation. That would require getting up to 2105. And maybe that's where it's headed to. You're printing a 2060 right now. Some eyes are trading a bit higher than yesterday. The transports are definitely headed to 16,618. That's a TD9 count breakdown level. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Have a terrific Thursday. Please join us again tomorrow, 1 o'clock sharp, on Fantastic Friday. Take care.